everyone. Today we'll learn how to configure 802.1x authentication for implementing user access control. 802.1x authentication, which is also called .1x authentication, is an important method used for network admission control, NAC. Only users passing .1x authentication are given access to the network, ensuring internal network security. The .1x authentication system uses a typical client-server structure and consists of three entities, client, device, and authentication server. The client is the software that is installed on a user terminal. The user can start the client software to initiate .1x authentication. The device is an access device in which .1x authentication is enabled to authenticate a user terminal. The authentication server is an entity that provides an authentication service for the device and implements authentication, authorization, and accounting on users. To control user access through .1x authentication, AAA must be configured. The user access control can be implemented only after both .1x authentication and AAA have been configured. So what is the relationship between .1x authentication and AAA? Let's take a look at the simple flowchart on the right. To put it simply, the .1x authentication process is the interaction process between the client and the switch, and the AAA process is the interaction process between the access device and server. Next, let's see how to configure .1x authentication for implementing user access control. Here is a simple networking diagram. This is a user terminal. It is connected to an authentication server through an access switch. A user terminal can access the network only after passing authentication. So the following is the .1x authentication scheme. 1. Before passing authentication, a user terminal fails to ping the authentication server. 2. After passing authentication, the user terminal can successfully ping the authentication server. We can perform the following steps to configure .1x authentication. Step 1. Configure network connectivity. Step 2, configure AAA. Step 3, configure .1x authentication. Step 4, configure the authentication server. First, let's run through how to configure AAA on an access switch. Perform four steps to configure AAA. Step 1, create a AAA scheme and configure the authentication mode. Step 2, create and configure a RADIUS server template. Step 3, create an authentication domain and bind the AAA scheme and RADIUS server template to the authentication domain. Step 4, configure the global default domain. Next, how can we configure .1x authentication on an access switch? It should be noted that on switches in SV200R500 and later versions, .1x authentication can be configured in two modes, traditional and unified. Unified mode is recommended, although .1x authentication is easy to configure in both modes. First, switch to the desired configuration mode, and then enable .1x authentication. Let's continue to talk about how to configure the RADIUS server. Take Huawei Policy Center as an example. The RADIUS server configuration on the Policy Center involves three steps. Step 1, configure parameters for the access device in the RADIUS server. Step 2, configure access control policies on the RADIUS server. Step 3, add accounts to the RADIUS server. Okay, let's take a look at how to configure the RADIUS server on Huawei Policy Center in detail. First, log in to the client. Check if the client can successfully ping the authentication server before passing .1x authentication. The client and authentication server can communicate with each other. Then enable .1x authentication on the access switch. Run the system view command to enter the system view. Run the AAA command to enter the AAA view. Run the authentication scheme ABC command to create the AAA scheme ABC. Run the authentication mode radius command to set the authentication mode to radius for the authentication scheme. Run the quit command to return to the system view. Run the radius server template test command to create a radius server template named test. We need to set the IP address and port number of the radius server. To do this, run the radius server authentication 192.168.2.216 command in the radius server template view and set the port number to 1812. 
run the radius server shared key cipher Huawei at 2012 command to set the shared key of the access device and radius server to Huawei at 2012. Run the quit command to return to the system view. Run the AAA command to enter the AAA view. Run the domain Huawei command to create the authentication domain Huawei. Run the authentication scheme ABC command to bind the AAA scheme ABC to the authentication domain. Run the radius server test command to bind the radius server template test to the authentication domain. Run the quit command to return to the system view. Run the domain Huawei command to configure the global default domain Huawei. Now we have completed AAA configuration. Next, we will continue to configure .1x authentication. Run the Authentication Unified Mode command to switch the .1x configuration mode to Unified Mode. Huawei switches use the Unified Mode as the default configuration mode, eliminating the need to restart the switch. Enter the view of the interface GE0036. Run the Authentication .1x command to enable .1x authentication. Run the .1x authentication method EAP command to set the .1x authentication mode to EAP. Now we have completed .1x authentication in unified mode. There are many optional functions of .1x that can be configured. You can configure these functions according to the actual application scenarios, but we will not talk more about these functions today. The configuration procedure for .1x authentication in traditional mode is similar to that in unified mode so we will not discuss it today. Next, we will learn how to configure the RADIUS server on the Policy Center. Access the authentication server remotely and open the Policy Center. Enter the username and password to log in to the Policy Center. Configure parameters for the access device on the RADIUS server. Choose Access Control Policy, Access Device, Access Device, Device. Click Add. Enter the name of the device to be added, Set active device IP address used to communicate with the authentication server, authentication key, and charging key. Enter Huawei at 2012 that we have just configured as the authentication key and charging key. The device F5720HI has been added. We will not add any more devices here. You can click the modify icon to check or change the device's parameters. The device's IP address is 192.168.2.2. If you want to change the passwords, enter each new password and click OK. If you do not want to change the passwords, click Close. Then configure access control policies on the authentication server. Choose Access Control Policy, Authentication and Authorization, Authorization Rule. A default authorization rule is provided, so there is no need to add a new rule will we use the default authorization rule. Click this icon to check the default rule content. We can see that the authentication result is permit access. Click OK. Then we need to add an account to the authentication server. Choose users and terminals, department user, user management user. Click add to add user. Enter the username Jack and click OK. We then need to add user accounts. Click the Account Management icon. Click Add to add an account. Enter the account name Jack1 and password. Click OK. OK, the account Jack1 is added. Now we've configured the RADIUS server. Next, log into the client and check if the client can successfully ping the authentication server. The client cannot access the authentication server before passing authentication. Now let's perform .1x authentication. Click Authenticate, enter the account Jack1 and password, click Login. The authentication is successful. Let's check if the client can successfully ping the authentication server. The client can successfully ping the authentication server after passing .1x authentication. Access the access device again to check if the .1x user passing authentication is displayed on the access device. Run the Display Access User command. Information about the user Jack1 is displayed. Run the display to access user user ID command and enter 32. 
we can see that the user authentication type of the user named Jack1 is .1x. That's all for .1x authentication configuration. Thank you for watching. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. How can we find these threads? We can enter, quote, All About Switches, unquote, site, colon, Huawei.com. In the search field of Google, and click any of the displayed links to enter Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describe typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Okay, that's all about today's sharing. Thank you. <laughs>